What's up newbies? My name is Newbie. Welcome to another video of Dauntless. Make sure that you subscribe and hit the notification bell for more videos and gameplays like this. In today's video, I'm going to show you my Warpike build and guy so you can do the flying spear attack like a saucy gladiator. Also disclaimer, this is based on my gaming experience here while playing this game. You can take this video as guide but you can do what kind of build you want that matches your playstyle. I'm just showing the potential and effectiveness of this build. Don't skip the guide and build in this video to achieve this damage, so you can poke any kind of behemoth's peaches as much as you like. You will see the gameplay after the build in this video. Well, let's jump into the build. I use Agoras Warpike and put a Endurance and the Fyrik Attunement Cell for stamina and charge rate of the Lantern. For my special move, I select Reckless Leap for instant wound damage. For the mod, I used Munitions Amplifier and I bond Koshe's Warpike for Sharpened. For my Omnicell, I used Iceborne for Lifesteal and for more survivability. For my Lantern, I used Skarn Defiance for the Shield and I put Etheric Attunement Cell. For the Helm, I build Thunderdeep Drask for Sharpen and I put Cunning Cell. For the body, I build Scrave for Adrenaline, and I put Adrenaline Cell as well. For the arms, I build Amber Main for Endurance, and I put Cunning Cell. And last for the legs, I build Chronivore for Pulse, and I put Pulse Cell as well. As you can see, my Sharpened is at plus 5 because I didn't Power Surge the weapon yet. Anyway, this is the status of the build. You can maximize the damage of the Reckless Leap base on the distance, so make sure you're far enough from the behemoths before using it.
That's it newbies. Thank you for watching this video. Leave a like, comment, and suggestions for my next video. Till my next video newbies. Peace out.